Hey, Orange One here. So I want to start off this episode by going into Razir, and I don't think we ever really explored this place. Um, so I thought we could show off what this all looks like. I really do like the feel of these cities. Um, they just really have a really nice aesthetic, and they totally look Middle Eastern. And like the music spot on, you know, it's almost like the. Uh... <laughs> Okay, um, it's almost like the developers are Turkish or something. It seems that these people don't give trade rumors all that often. They tend to just like talk about uh, various things. Yeah, let's let's see, let's see what you got here. Um, I mean, I feel like I should just uh, get rid of this. I'm not sure. I think that was just something I uh, I picked up from a bunch of the bandits. I think it's actually just a melee weapon. It's not actually for a blacksmith. Merchant notary. Huh. Um, that's interesting. Let's see what you got, trader. Oh, this is super cool. So you can like go down onto the streets and talk to these guys. Is this yeah he's he's got the same prices as well i was looking at earlier um i've also figured out do you guys see how like the dates is green next to it and then the um like the grapes and the butter they're red um so i think that this means like this is a relatively good price and a relatively bad price so we should probably load up on some dates and i think i'm also gonna get maybe Maybe some salt. And I'm not going to buy a whole lot of everything because I know I'm going to have a hard time keeping track of it, but I'm just going to buy a few things. Yeah. Okay. And we're actually going to take these goods and we're going to try and sell them. So, uh, it's just over to Hubyar. 19 for salt. Where's Hubyar? Where's that? Is that where I was trying to go? Yeah, that was where I was trying to go. Dude, lady, I love you. Like, for real. That came in clutch. That was awesome. It's almost like I was, like, talking to her about the salt. Um... Let's just take all their salt, you know? Uh, we're paying 28 for the salt per unit. And we're, we're getting pretty invested here. This lady better not mess me up. Am I going there? I am, yes. Oh, I should have probably intercepted that caravan. They could have probably told me a little bit more about uh, this this village. Man, I'm really digging the trade system in this game. I really do feel like a little merchant. Oh, we could also go get more horses there. Oh, we just missed a caravan because I was speeding through the game. Oh, well, we're pretty much where I was trying to go. I think I'm getting a hold of the, the map controls as well, which is exciting times. Um, so, yeah, we were trying to go here and make some... Oh, dude. That lady, she really came through for us there. I think we went to like 28. Yeah, now we're starting to lose money. That alone was profitable. I don't think the dates were getting much profit, but I think the pottery we got for like 60 a pop. So I'm going to sell those as well. Um, the beer, I think we're actually losing money here. It's The beer is actually cheaper here. Okay, so that's good to know. Oh look, we've we've got a little bit more trading experience. We're still a ways away from getting uh um where is it? From getting the town merchant and the caravan master. I think I've gotta try and get a caravan. Oh, what the heck? I keep on thinking I'm do I've done this. Put the focus points there. Put the that point there. And I'm done, right? Isn't that done? Yeah, that's done. 
Oh, that's frustrating because I keep on thinking that I've done that and I keep on doing like trade deals. I'm just going to just save really quick because I just, I, I feel like I've done that before many a times. Okay, we should start getting experience much faster. This just, um, I'm just going to kind of do what we did last time. We're going to talk on the streets to people. Let's, uh, let's check out Hubyar and we'll make this our uh, little Asari city episode where we're trading and trying to find out what good deals we can make to sustain our travels. Because we are getting more experience every time we do something like that. Um, it's not like a ton of experience, but because we didn't have the skill focus in there. But now that we've upped that skill focus, I bet we start um, making some money on the trades that we do. I could have sworn in the last episode I, I did that and I hit the done button. I'm just going to hit character. It's just yeah, see, it is good. Wow, this is a very different city. This feels a lot less like um, a lot less like a proper city. This, yeah. There's beggars. Man, this place is... This place is not all that great. Okay. We're gonna keep on going till we find someone with some good news. Wow, look at that. That's so dark in here compared to out there. It's like, I don't want our eyes need to adjust. Dates to Ayakis. Okay, a profit of 18. That's pretty good for, like, dates and stuff. Is that one of the cities over to the side? I feel like it is. If it is, I think I might try and make that, that trade. Yeah, Ayakis. Let's go take some dates over there. Um, the dates aren't even that good of a deal. We could have brought the dates from way over ways. I'm going to take... Not all of your dates. I'll take a good a good chunk of them. I'm paying 32 per. I think it was starting at 29. Um, I can buy it rosin for so much cheaper though, so we're not gonna load up all the way because we're gonna have to basically sell this like to the west. Um, Ayakis, we'll go there. And once we've been here, we'll also have a, no a news of what they value here, so we can go back and sell to them. We also have not had many people we can really fight that we've encountered over here. I don't know um, why that is. Oh, where are you coming from? Can I talk to them? I just want to know. Uh, f That's pretty good turnaround. Askar to Ayakis. So if you're, how much or would you, yeah, you wouldn't sell me it for a very good deal. Basically what you're trying to sell it for. Okay. Well, I'm going to try uh, getting to the gates and selling those dates before you do. No, he sold his stuff before I did, didn't he? It's going to affect the prices. Yeah, see the dates, I, I don't know if he sold his dates before I did. Uh, and the salt? I feel like we should get rid of that at that price as well. We'll get rid of all of that. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. I think we went up multiple levels there in the trade. Yeah, 32 is pretty good. Pretty good. How are we doing money-wise, though? Like if I look at my inventory, yeah, we got 2,400, I think. Probably. Kind of want to recruit better units. Let's just um, have a look at what is sold at a good price here. The beer is super cheap. Uh, the oil... Could potentially make a good profit off that. Same with the clay. I mean, the clay is not going to give you that much, though, unfortunately. Linen. Whoa. Linen could sell for, like, a really nice price. I think we're going to want to get some linen here. Uh, yeah, let's get, let's get some linen. 
I'm gonna get like you know I mean the lens pretty cheap why don't we just take yeah we'll take all of it we'll take all the linen uh, clay is also super cheap and I, I can carry a lot of stuff with the horses that we've got the oil I am nervous because that's pretty expensive so I'm not gonna take a whole lot um, I think I just sold the dates here didn't I I can't remember. Kind of silly to buy something you just. Um, the beer is also really cheap, so I'm gonna just get like a couple beers. Like I think that's a really good deal for the beer. Um, this is a consumable, so that might be good for our party morale. I think that I'm pretty happy with that. We'll try and see if we can get the linen for better than 42, clay for like 19, and oil for 86. I think, I think we can do that. I don't really know. I should have probably asked them what goes well to that Kodaris or whatever that city name was. Uh, that's just walk around town for a little bit. I think we already did this, but it was kind of weird. Yeah, is this... This seems... Is this a different place? This, I think, actually is a different place than the last one that we were at. It looks different to me. Got a little pottery bar in the, out there. A horse stable. Looked like a horse stable over to the other side. Um, we got the silversmith. Uh, yeah, so he's a caravan dude. Okay. Interesting. A lot of, a lot of interesting go things going on here. Is it saying that someone's locked up in the dungeon or am I crazy? I think that I'm just seeing things. I'm gonna go in... Oh, you're a ranger? You look awesome, man. Okay, never mind. Uh, there... Yeah, I'm gonna go in, into the... into the tavern. It's been a while since our characters had a drink. I don't know which of the Arabs... uh... drank. Uh... Oh, that was kind of weird with the audio there. Hello, tavern keep. Oh, it's no tasks, okay. Come on. Nothing? Okay. I wonder if those dudes actually do say some stuff. Oh, we could hire someone, possibly. How much cash do I have? Uh, I haven't really got enough. I don't think I'm gonna win at that game. Let's see if this dude's got any... Uh, nope. Any rumors for me? See ya. Oh, the Watchmen, we could hire them, but I don't really want to hire them. Let's go back out, and we'll see if there's other townsfolk around to talk to. You know spin the yarn with or uh, shoot the the you know I'm not gonna say it because it's I'm on YouTube but shoot the four letter word <laughs> um oh what's this some dude okay gang leader bodyguard okay we could get involved into the dark outer valley if these guys would have a quest for me. Do any of them have a quest for me? Any of the people in this town? No, they do not. Okay. Um, we've been messing around in there long enough. Let's go over here. Let's check out this place. Um, we could actually get some more horses just to make ourselves just a little bit faster. That might be nice for 
catching groups. Because these guys breed horses. Um, Sumter horse. Uh, I don't think that makes this go faster. I think they're for carrying stuff. We don't really need an upper carrying capacity. I was thinking more like one of these guys. It's kind of expensive though. Hmm. It seems it seems a bit a bit expensive to me. 154 horse. I've heard that you find a lot of horses in this game, so I'm not too worried. Oh, I just I gained a level. Oh, stewardship just from paying people. Yep, I guess you know paying your taxes, your bills. <laughs> kind of weird that I just gained a level out of nowhere. Oh, we got another focus point. Um, where do I want to spend that focus point? Bows. I want bows. Uh, okay. Let's try trading here. That's a small amount of profit. That's a little bit of profit. What was the linen? What did we buy that at? I feel like the linen... I don't want to sell that. I'll sell the clay though. And the oil. The beer I think I should hold on to. Um, where I look here, I think the meat I bought for like 25 or something like that, right? Is that, am I remembering that wrong? I thought it was something like that. Okay, so we've got, we've now got an idea more about what we're dealing with trade-wise in the area. What do you guys uh, have that you produce here? Anything that's a good price? Not really. Not a whole lot of stuff at like a reasonable price. Oh man, that's a shame. And the linen here yeah, it sells for a whole lot more back over on the other side of the map, so we'll probably take the linen and, and go over there. Or, you know, we could go to Ascar and Sala and Koiza. We could try and chain our way through here. I think that we should. I really think that we should. This place, um, let's try and see if there's some people. I think it's because it's night. Yeah, there's not going to be too many people just walking around. Um, I bet the tavern, though, has some, some people in it. Oh, look, a kitty cat. Hello, kitty cat. Hello. Can I... Can I, like, pet the kitty cat? I really want to pet the kitty cat. There should be a press F to pet cat. Man, my cat, I think I said, was pretty sick in uh, a recent episode. Um, yeah, she's she has a predisposition to getting infections, basically. Uh, she got like a smushed face. And because of that, she just constantly gets these respiratory infections. Uh, you're in... You're in person I could recruit maybe. Should I go for it? Oh, there's just like a thug. <laughs> That's funny. You know what? Gin or Jin the Cursed. Uh, okay. Okay. I could use someone like you. Uh, hmm. It's like half my money. And you could just get killed. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm sorry. I I think that we need we need to get our cash flow a little bit more established before we start paying for one of those dudes. I mean, it will make our our party so much more powerful, but I don't think we really need that, you know? Um, I will go back to the tavern, though, and continue to talk to the locals. 
see if they um, could tell me anything, anything else. Um, yeah, nothing there. Yeah, I feel like we just haven't really been given enough opportunities to um, get rumors. But it is the middle of the night. You know, we're trying to roll through here in the middle of the night, trying to line up some trade deals. Yo, help me right now. Um, I could rest here for the night. Sure, let's just wait here. Oh, we, we got medicine from doing that? How, how nice. I had no idea that we needed healing, but cool. Um, go to the tavern district. No. Um, sure, actually, I'm just going to visit the, the bar and then exit. Because I think that's faster to get into the real city center than going all the way around. Shop worker. Okay, you're just some workshop worker. That's not really what I want. Right, yeah. I've heard that workshops are a good source of money, but seeing how we're playing Asari, I don't know if that's really worth it. Come on, give me a rumor about one of these other places. There's all these rumors, just tell me about trade. I wonder if you are near the traders, if you are more likely to get trade rumors. I'd probably not, but that'd be so cool if they did that. Like if you could overhear. Man, look at all these bodyguards. This dude's ruling deep. <laughs> three, th three profit. Really? Dude, that's not profit. If you're only making three coin. That is definitely not what I would call profit. No. Okay. Well, this does not seem to be panning out for me. I'm just going to get out of here. And we're going to go just straight to uh, this place. We're going to try and, and tour the all the Asari places. We've got food. And we've got money. I'm hoping um, that we can sell like our linen and whatnot for a decent price. Oh, look, another desert horse place. Go there. We'll check that out. Man, there's like seriously just like looters. I haven't seen like any anything that's uh, much of a tr uh, concern for us. Oh, we could buy product here. Um, that's a better price. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I think it will just speed up our party. I think I want to go for a number of those. Uh, what's your quest there, buddy? Deliver the herd to Razir. Where's Razir from here? Oh man, that's so far away. I'm sorry, I need to establish my, um... Uh... Okay, we'll do it. I haven't had any quests, so we'll do it. I don't know if this is a good deal or not. Yeah. De uh, herd of 10 desert horses in... Okay. Okay, sure. Yes, I can deliver horses to this potter. So, one peasant and ten horses added to the party. Well, maybe I shouldn't have bought all those horses just a second ago. So, if I go to J... Um, I'm just going to go straight there, to be honest. I might, um, wait, what? 
An available issue? What's what's going on there, buddy? I if I try and sell, no, it doesn't. It, I hate how it doesn't show the selling prices for the horses. It really does bother me. No, I did the wrong thing. I meant to just talk to the dude. It's so much faster to just navigate like this than to actually try and find him in the village. Um, about the task he gave me. Oh, I'm just like trying to give up. That's not what I want to do. Yeah, there. Th that looks like we're reusing the um, village from the other place. The other thing. Let's go there. I wonder if this has like a scripted group that's gonna try and ambush me along the way. Oh man, I'm so fast. I can catch a group of four dudes. Can I just send all my troops in? Nice. So I think we just killed them. No, no losses there. Thank you guys. Did anyone get enough experience? No, they did not get enough experience. Uh, hold on. Razir, yeah, I want to go there. Okay. Alright, well, you can see that things are slowly getting better for us. And we've got, with all these horses, we are really fast and we can actually just go around manhunting. I might use these horses just for that sole purpose, just to... Get a little bit of cash. So what what is all this wounded, dead? So there's four wounded, no dead. Okay. I'll take that. Um, did I lose anyone? I think I did. Oh yeah, hold on. Sorry, peasant, go back. What's the three W? I'm going to just take all the prisoners. There we go. And we can't hire anyone else by the looks of it, unfortunately. That's a shame. Okay. And we can at least take the horse and the goods. Yeah, we got tons of horses. I'm looking there. 4.1. Why are we so slow? Is it our prisoners? It's our prisoners, huh? Let's go over here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to catch that group of 11. Not while we're moving so slow. Wow, I, I had no idea that horses were so important for your travel speed. Uh, tavern district. Let's ransom all of them. Um, might as well do some trade here as well. Anything that I should sell at Razier? Okay, yeah, see, we're getting some good prices now. We can see how things compare. Uh, this could sell for a lot over there. So if we buy a bunch of oil and deliver that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy a bunch of oil. And we'll sell the linen. Maybe we could buy some more. No, we're not going to buy more. I think that this is a pretty good load. Going to leave us a little bit of cash just to work with. Um, let's see, party. Oh, we can level up more guys. Sweet. Let's get some more foot soldiers. That's good. We're actually starting to get units that uh, can fight. Uh, definitely a good thing for us. Let's let's try and um, oop. Where are you coming from? Yeah, let's see what's what's going on here. Okay. That doesn't seem like that great of a deal to go all that way, but whatever. You do you, right? Okay, we're almost there though. Almost to that point where I would, I'd be comfortable ending. Um, I just kind of want to see honestly what the quest, how this quest ends. Uh, uh, yes, um, he has a neutral issue available. So wasn't I, hold on, let's, let's look at the quest. The headmaster from Curry the Potter. The you. Kind of weird that, that we don't have a, a blue thing next to you, but whatever. Yep, 
Here you go. Sweet. Got some better relations. And we got a little bit of gold. I mean, the gold really wasn't what it was for, but I mean, 400 gold does help us a lot. I'm just going to really quick also just trade that out and this out as well. And might as well get rid of the, the rags that we've got, right? Uh, the beer I'm going to keep, though. Yeah. Oh, man, look at how much gold that we have. What? Nice. Okay. We've also almost um, rebuilt the clan. That's amazing. Super cool. All right, well, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.